What's up guys, my name's Adapt, welcome back to another video on the channel. So, it's the second time today I've made a video of this type. I just did the 442 bracket 2 formation, where I talk about the formation, show you guys the custom text and player instructions at the beginning of the video, but now we're here and we're doing something different from the formation reviews. I'm taking a look at AA9 skills, ultra attacking, custom tactics and player instructions. So, earlier on this year, I showed you guys his balanced custom tax and player instructions in which he was using the 41212 bracket too. And then he also showed his ultra attacking custom tactics, which is the 4231 formation. He only showed his tactics, guys. He didn't show any player instructions. So what I did was I used my own initiative and from my own knowledge and experience of using the 4231 this year, I have used what I think are the best player instructions for this formation so the player instructions are mine but the custom tactics were taken from a9 skills video he did upload near the beginning of this year when i say the beginning of this year i mean the beginning of fifa 19 this title so this is the team we went ahead and used so it's the same team really i just can't be bothered to go through everyone again you guys have seen the amount of games i played with these players it's at the same time i am making the 442 bracket 2 formation video so nothing's really changed in regards to the player stats so i'm going to get into custom text and player instructions and i will be right back now getting into custom tactics guys let's go straight to the game plans so he's using the 4231 formation so it was one of the best formations if not the best formation at the beginning of the game and still after the few patches ea have made to the game is still up there with one of the best formations on the game if not the best formation on the game in my opinion it's the 442 right now but the 4231 is still up there with one of the best formations on the game so for defensive style we use pressure on heavy touch so he's using something different to what people would use now width he's got it quite high up depth he's got it quite high up now people use lower width and lower depth but that's what skills was using at the time and then for offensive style he has long ball which i haven't seen many people use maybe over the top three balls were overpowered at that time in the game i'm not 100 percent sure but long ball i wouldn't use personally but that's what 89 skills is using width he's got it three balls away from the max when i say what a and i skills is using is just at the time he made this video then for players in the box he has three bars corners he has three bars and three kicks he has three bars so the corners and the three kicks that's okay i can see someone using two bars of corners and three bars of three kicks players in the box i'd have that high because of how op flick up crosses are how op back post headers are and width i'd have it around there as well I'd usually have balanced it instead of long ball, but that's what A9 Skills has chosen to use. Now getting into the formation, this is how the team lines up in game. So we've got Benton Kerr and Nain Golan in the defensive roles. Dybala as the central cam, Zapata as the right cam and Rodriguez as the left cam. And in the striker role, I have Voland. Now getting into the player instructions, I have stay back or attacking on both fullbacks. On my left DM, I have man mark, stay back goal, attacking in cover center. And on the right DM, I have cut passing lane, stay back goal, attacking in cover center. So I told you guys how I'd use one on man mark and one on cut passing lanes in some of my two DM formations. But in today's video, I'm going to experiment a bit. Now, there's no player instructions. A and my skills has given us to base off of in the 4231 formation. So I selected these player instructions personally. But A and I skills has used the custom tactics I am showing you guys in this video. But in this video, I'm using man walk and stay back core attacking on my left DM and cover center. And on my right DM, I'm using cop passing lane, stay back core attacking and cover center because I think it works quite well. But you can't really go wrong with cut passing lanes and stable core attacking on both DMs, but I just chose to use one on man mark and one on cut passing lanes. Now getting onto the central cam, I have stay forward and free roam. On the right cam, we have stay forward getting to the box for the cross because the power is a striker. I want him to get up top and help Volland 
and use his attacking abilities. And then in the left cam, I have James Rodriguez on getting to the box for the cross, and that's all I've done. And on my striker, I have Volland on stay central, and that is all I've done on him because he's not much of a player who's going to get in behind. He hasn't got a lot of pace ready to be able to get in behind so i think it's better if zapata plays off of him if james rodriguez is able to play off of him and if my cams are able to work together with him to be able to create more chances so guys those are the custom tactics those are the player instructions aa9 skills uses well these are the custom tactics aa9 skills has used or might still be using but the player instructions i selected myself now let's get into the gameplay. Now getting into the gameplay guys. In our first game we come up against a guy with an inform Vardy. He has a Willian in there. So he had a very very good team. A lot of different special cards in there. But we capitalise on his mistake in the 26th minute. And score our first goal with Volland to start off this video. So a very good goal from Volland right there. And this guy's going to try and come back with a first time shot from Willian, which they shouldn't really be going in in this game. But that's just how it is. First time shot, not even taking a touch, not even intentionally putting some control on the ball, trying to place the ball in a certain position. He just does that and it goes in and then he scores a second right there with a Bamiyang. And things aren't looking good for me in this game. I had so many chances. I believe I should have won this game, to be honest. I hit post after post, his keeper made so many saves but eventually we salvage a draw in the 93rd minute of added time. So we managed to score and draw the game to all and then we get into our next game. This guy's a red Talvin, he had a flashback Firmino in there. So yet again another very decent squad and we are going to be sloppy here and give away a penalty yet again from another lack of focus. And he puts it into a back end net, goes straight down the middle with Firmino, and he makes it 1 0 right there. So things aren't looking good. Very sloppy mistake from me, cost me a goal right there, but I'm going to try and come back here. Chiellini is going to clear the ball, he's trying to get it up there to cause a problem. Lane Gonan plays it to James Rodriguez. James Rodriguez on a yellow card and very low stamina, he plays it in. 2-1 player, he plays it into Volan and Volan's going to do a nice driven long shot really and we get a 1-0 draw out of that game, thought I should have won that one then we come up against a guy with Makaleli, flashback Ibrahimovic he had team the season Ayor in there I believe as well so yeah again another very solid team and we come forward and we are looking for our first goal. Nengolan puts it into the back of the net. This guy was very good with the keeper movement. It was a very frustrating thing for me. The amount of times he was moving the keeper. And eventually after all the chances I had. I managed to take the lead and make it 1-0 there. Now this guy started to get a bit desperate. He was chasing the game a lot. And I capitalised on that a bit. I'm playing some nice passing play. Being patient with it. Play it to Zapata. Zapata with a nice driven shot into the back of the net, making it 2-0 right there. And then we're going to extend the lead with a third after. He didn't score right there. He tried to have a shot right there. Or is this guy going to score? We're going to have to wait and see here. I think I did go ahead and extend my lead here. We're just doing some nice patient play. Waiting for the right chance to seize my opportunity and get through. And Volan's going to do a nice driven shot into the back of the net. Secure that win and we get the 3-0 win right there and that is how this game is going to end. No it is not. Are we going to get a fourth? We're going to have to wait and see. Dybala plays it to Volland. Volland plays it to Benton Kerr. Benton Kerr's running forward with the ball. Plays it through to Zapato, our right cam in this formation. And he does a nice driven shot into the back of the net making it 4-0. And I believe that is how this game is going to end. Now we are going to get into our last game of the video. And a very short one. This guy had a team in a knockout stage. Ronaldo I think that was. He had quite a few other very good players. I think I saw a Werner in there. So he had a very good team. A much better team than mine. And we go ahead and we make it 1-0. With some nice passing play. And this guy is going to quit straight after the first goal. And this video is going to come to an end. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel down below. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Peace. Damn, I'm on red alert. Now she went up in the dirt, man. I don't wanna hurt.